why you dey buy it? Take product to you. Make you dey careful. We have power to prosecute, to go to court. We have power to convict people. Those people who are doing bad, if you let us know, we'll take care of them. Touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It destroys. Don't touch, don't touch. It kills. You should know where to go. The SOL. Standards Organization of Nigeria uncovers a notorious syndicate that specializes in the production and distribution of substandard lubricants in Lagos. National Assembly lends its voice to the clamor for the Standards Organization of Nigeria to be among agencies of government at the nation's seaports. Hello and welcome to another interesting half-hour public enlightenment program on product quality and safety on Africa's largest television network, the NTA. 6.30 p.m. is our transmission time on Mondays and I'm glad to have you join us on the program. I want a situation where in the future, when you see a son person, either in your market or in your shop or on the street, you bring him close to you and say, Welcome, well, come, be a, let's talk. Because it's your brother, it's your friend. But I cannot be your brother if you don't know I'm interested in protecting you. Like they say, Onye wete son, wete rando. <laughs> Welcome to the world of standard and quality, where we offer you information on product safety and quality. The program is Standard and You. Choose live and leave. Buy original. Be original. S O N. Welcome back and thanks for joining us on the program. My name is Ifeyua Okonkwo. Did you know? that while some genuine manufacturers in the country are taking their time to put together resources and materials to give consumers quality goods, some wicked and patriotic individuals are busy sabotaging the efforts of these honest producers by cloning their products for personal gains. Officials of the Standards Organization of Nigeria stormed the hideout of one of such syndicates caught producing substandard lubricants in Lagos. Standard and You was part of that enforcement by the SON. This is number 25 Isoko Street, Sony Bus Stop Ojo Alaba International in Lagos. Nothing on this building indicates that any kind of commercial activity, let alone manufacturing, goes on in this complex. It's purely a residential structure with tenants living in the house. Behind this block of flats is this makeshift factory where this man and his cohorts conduct their illegal production. Yeah, it's changing color. Maybe we shut up. It was a rude shock, one that caught some of the culprits by surprise when officials of the Standards Organization of Nigeria stormed their hideouts. It was indeed an amazing discovery for officials of the Standards Organization of Nigeria who took time to comb the entire production area. Although they were not caught in the act because they got wind of the agency's visit and took to their heels, officials of SON found a drum of base oil, empty drum of an already made substandard lubricant, two bunches of broom used to mix their chemicals, thousands of containers of popular brands which they used to sell their substandard mixture and several branded cartons. It's a syndicate which specializes in adulteration of lubricants. There are two popular brands of uh, lubricants uh, that are so popular in the market because of the quality and because of the certification and all. And those are the brands that uh, Mr. Emmanuel adulterates. This is where they do it in this premises. They, they, they buy materials, uh, base oil, uh, you can see at least we have seen two drums. They do it in such a way that uh, it will appear like a small scale, but it's a continuous process and every day they bring out hundreds of cartons to the market. So we trace this place, we monitor them, and then we're able to get 
them in the act. We have carried the materials that we've seen. We have also carried all the empty cartons of the popular brands, the packaging materials and all. We are also happy that we've been able to arrest the suspect. We're here with uh, officials of the police, uh, police and uh, so we're going to take him and he's going to tell us one, he'll tell us the source of the materials because that is complete faking and uh, deception. These men obviously have been operating illegally in a residential building, exposing innocent Nigerians to the hazards of some of the dangerous chemicals they use in producing substandard lubricants. The agency have been on the trail of perpetrators of this illegal business for quite some time now. According to the Coordinator, Surveillance, Intelligence and Monitoring Unit, Issa Suleiman, SUN will stop at nothing to fish out other producers of substandard products, especially those who clone popular selling and registered brands in the country. We have the base oil, we have the cartons, we have the cans, those uh, one liter, five liter things, you know. And we also saw a particular packaging slip from a company called Sonex Packaging Nigeria Limited. Now this is very, very important for us because the packaging is such that it will be difficult to differentiate from the genuine with the fake one. And this will also now be part of the investigation by police. We want to know why this company is supplying these products. And also the, Mr. Emmanuel will have to tell us the other sources of the materials. This is also a, a small machine that is used in sealing the product so that it will look like a genuine product. And of course it's not genuine. So uh, these activities have been going on and of course we know the implication of this. We have lots of complaints on, uh, on machines, you know, because the engine oil is, is substandard. It doesn't have that lubricating effect. So uh, and uh, the complaints we've been having on vehicles and even industrial machinery. And this is important. And the losses is in billions because we've been receiving complaints. And it's affecting the, the economy. So this is also economic sabotage. He advised every well-meaning Nigerians to always provide the agency with useful information that will lead to the arrest of unscrupulous importers and manufacturers. There is the economic aspect your machinery and uh, vehicles and all, all machines, of course, once you use this product, they don't last. It blows machine, it can cause accident. Because when vehicles malfunction in the way and then, you know, there, there could be a lot of accident. So there is threat to life, threat to the economy, and also job losses. If you look at those genuine companies that employ thousands of Nigerians, and then this, these are the kind of activities that actually put them out of the market. And we know what the effect of... In fact, we can even link it to insecurity in Nigeria. Because a lot of these youths that go about doing a lot of uh, illegal activities, killings and all that, the common question or the common excuses they give is that there are no jobs. So, and these are the kind of people that do not allow our economy, our, our companies, to remain in production. And buyers these days do not, are not even sure of what they are buying. Yeah, because it looks like the genuine product, but it's not genuine. The agency arrested Mr. Chizoba Emmanuel and evacuated all items found in the building. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. The Chairman House Committee on Industry, Dolakwa Baju, has expressed concern over the continued absence of the Standards Organization of Nigeria at the nation's seaport and land borders. He describes the development as a disturbing trend with adverse implication on the nation's economy. The Chairman was speaking during an oversight by the House Committee on Industry to the agency's world-class laboratory in Lagos. Standard & New was there. The war against fake and substandard products has been ongoing for decades. 
It's a global problem that nations all over the world have continued to evolve strategies to check the distribution of these bad products in their respective countries. In Nigeria, the Standards Organization of Nigeria is at the forefront of the war to combat these menace. These fake products find their ways into the country despite efforts by the SON to check their influx into Nigeria. Over the years, many in the country have often blamed the SON for not doing enough in this regard. The truth, however, is that not many Nigerians are aware that the agency is not at the borders and the seaports to monitor these bad products and establish their quality before they are allowed into Nigeria. The constraint we have is obvious. We have no access. If we have access, there is no way we will leave uh, about 100 containers to slip through our fingers. This is not just one container, ladies and gentlemen. It's at least 100 plus containers somehow find their way out of the ports and into our society. Now, if you can imagine if there is another 10 or 15 of these uh, stores around the country, you're looking about more than you know, 2,000 containers slipping through unnoticed. Worried by these ugly developments that is fast making Nigeria a dumping ground for fake, substandard, adulterated and unwholesome products, the Chairman, House Committee on Industry, frowned at SON's absence at the ports. It is unthinkable that iron rods, tires, gas cylinders, generators, and so many other things have been imported into this country. And Standard Organization of Nigeria is being prevented from being at the ports to certify to the standards of whatever has been imported into this country. So, so sad. The National Assembly has risen up and sent a resolution strongly worded and backed up by a resolution of the House, and I'm sure the Senate also, but nothing has been done, which means we don't understand what is happening. So sad. So since then, up till now, there has been thousands and thousands and thousands of avoidable deaths. If standard organizations can be told to be trying to look at whatever is coming in on a screen, can a screen determine the standard of a product? It's physical examination, and it is in the law. It is in the act that sets up some. We will on our own start all over again and go through this process again. And this time, we will definitely involve the leadership of the National Assembly because Avoidable deaths, you can imagine trailer, trailer loads or container loads of so-called brand new tires. If you have a brand new tire and you can stuff three tires into one, I wonder how you can, you can just tell about the quality of such tires. A tire is supposed to be so, so firm that, I mean, it should go onto the rim straight up, but once you can now stuff another tire into another, and another into another, that means <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a recipe for disaster. The overwhelming prevalence of these bad products in the country, he stressed, if not checked, will destroy the nation's economy, especially Nigeria's industrial sector. You cannot hold Sun. When Sun is telling you that, okay, those ones that are being manufactured in Nigeria, they have a grip of it, but hey, 90% or 80% of these products come in through the pots because they come in cheaper than this one that is produced here because they are substandard. And they are labeled as made in Europe, made in England, and whereas they are not made, they are not made there. But they find it easier to import them rather than manufacture them here. And people who are on the streets don't know the difference, so they just find the cheaper one and buy. So this is where it comes in very sad. And you know whether it is a product that you eat that now spoils your, your heart, spoils your liver. This, there are so many different things. Whether it's the substandard iron rods that now you build with it and the house collapses, we must make sure we address until we get to the root of the matter. According to him, Nigeria must emulate other progressive nations of the world where goods are subjected to proper quality and physical checks by their country's standard bodies before they are distributed. 
The SON, he affirmed, has the necessary quality infrastructure to perform this function, going by the increasing numbers of modern and equipped laboratories across the country. And obviously impressed members of the House Committee on Industry, who took a tour of the facility, urged Nigerians, especially operators of small and medium enterprises, to take advantage of the services of the SON to produce goods of acceptable standard that can compete favorably with imported ones. For the Director General of the SON, Malam Farouk Salim, the establishment and upgrade of critical infrastructure like the laboratories is a conscious effort by the government to promote industrial growth, boost exports and ensure that consumers get value for money. Because we recently signed African Free Trade Act and that act means in simple terms that any African country can manufacture, export into our country any goods that is certified by their own country to be good. So um, our industries right now as we speak are at a very big disadvantage because they cannot export to Nigeria, but Nigeria can export to Nigeria. The reason being, we don't have enough capacity to only, not only to monitor them and test them and certify them, we need even more capacity to make sure we train the small-scale industries in this country. In that light, we have signed a lot of MOUs with several governors and, uh, and ministries of various states to be able to help MSMEs on how to package, label, and manufacture their products. And uh, we certified them that way, if something as simple as our Kilishi has a standard organization sticker on it, can actually be exported to Europe or America without any problems. In that light, we already have some several labs that have been uh, accredited and proved. We have a food lab that was just recently done, and we have more potential to do more. The DG announced that more laboratories are on the way. Wow, Chief Mike, how are you? Fine. I'm going to Sun office for the certification of my wheat flour. Oh no, things have changed. Sun has simplified all its activities. You could have even stayed back in Kano and process all your papers online. Whoa. With the efforts of Sun, the products of SMEs can now compete globally. Sun has put in place necessary machineries in support of the growth of SMEs. At highly subsidized charges, SMEs can now get their certification, laboratory testing of their products, as well as purchase of standards. Meanwhile, Sun is carrying out massive seizure of substandard goods in the market and have gotten legal backing to prosecute offenders, all to protect consumers and SMEs. S -O -N -O -C. Sun, improving life through standards. This cylindrical pressure vessel stores clean and efficient cooking gas, known as liquefied petroleum gas, LPG. It's majorly used for domestic cooking in many Nigerian homes because it's easy to use, environment friendly, and cooks fast. However, the LPG cylinder is a life-endangering product, which must be handled with utmost care. I'm pleased to tell you I'll be sharing five standard tips on the LPG cylinder right after responding to your messages. My name is Halimot Osifo. Welcome. Valentine from Kaduna says, I bought an ox fan and what is in the body of the carton is not what is inside. It is completely plastic and not up to a year, it's already broken. Please kindly report to SON's Kaduna State Office at number 44 Kachia Road, Kaduna. Go there with your proof of purchase as well as the product. We'll take it up from there. Tony from Potakot says, I'm tired of buying extension sockets and bulbs in Nigeria. Market surveillance on substandard products is ongoing, and the Standards Organization of Nigeria is not relenting in ensuring quality and safety of these products. Olusonya Femi says, well done to your great services to Nigerians. Thanks Femi, we hope to serve you better. Anonymous message from Akwaibom says, please, how do I get information about SON? 
Thanks for reaching out to us. For more information about SON services and state offices, please check www.son.gov.ng. Chichi from Edo says, I like your show. Thanks, Chichi. It's nice to hear from you. Now to five standard tips on LPG cylinder. Say no to fairly used cylinders. Buy brand new cylinders that carry SON certification marks from reputable stores. Be alert. LPG cylinders expire 15 years after manufacture. Always keep and transport your cylinders in an upright position in a well-ventilated space. Turn off regulator and valve when not in use. When there is a gas leakage, open the windows and doors to disperse the gas and do not operate any electrical switches, appliances or equipment in the kitchen. There you have it, five standard tips on LPG cylinder. And that concludes this week's episode of your favorite public sensitization program, Standard and You. Keep your messages coming in with your full name and location to the number 0705972 Follow us on any of our social media platforms and remember you can watch the program online at youtube.com forward slash standard and you. Don't just view, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. From the entire production crew, we say Eid Mubarak to our Muslim brothers and sisters. Do have a blissful celebration. And as always, buy original, sell authentic, and use only the best. Why you they buy it? Yeah, they product you, yeah. Make you they careful, no go damage your life. You've got one life to live. Buy original.